Hi there, I'm Ben. I'm a paleontologist from Southern Australia and I'm rather fascinated by the world around us. And today, we're going to be looking at the largest tooth predator of modern times. Getting to more than 20 meters in length, 80 metric tons, it dives down more than two kilometers in search of its prey that is the same size as a school bus. Today, we're going to be looking at Phyceto macrocephalus, the great white whale the modern sperm whale, and asking an integral question. How does it eat? A question that has plagued scientists for decades. Yar! Sperm whales and other modern tooth whales utilize a bizarre form of biological sonar known as echolocation. They emit a loud piercing click into the gloom, it bounces off another object, it's then received into their skull and they paint a vivid three-dimensional picture of their surroundings. It's a sixth sense that us humans could only dream of. And we know that sperm whales are eating giant squid, one of the largest invertebrates in the entire world. But they're eating more than just this prey. Eyes now, you white whale. Show us your crooked jaw. <sighs> Luckily for us humans, we know that we're not on the menu. Sorry, Jonah, <laughs> but there are no reliable reports whatsoever of humans being eaten <laughs> by sperm whales. But we know what they like to eat. They like to eat medium-sized bodied squid, and on occasion, giant squid as well. It represents the largest predator-prey interaction of modern times, and yet we've never seen it happen before. So how do we know it happens? Well, when these sperm whales come up from their immense dives, they quite often have scars all over their face from the suckers from giant squid. When we conduct necropsies and open up their guts from when they beach, we can also find the giant beaks of Archituthus itself, of the giant squid, in their guts. They also on occasion eat megamouth sharks, sharks that can get to up to 5 meters in length, and even seals. But it's how they eat their food that has baffled scientists for decades. The birds! He rises! Check out this jaw of a heavily deformed sperm whale. It came from a healthy individual that clearly did not use its teeth. Many experts believe that sperm whales don't use their teeth for prey capture. So what are they using? Quite clear to me that they're using their tongue. Their tongue is about a meter in length, is very muscular and looks like a piston. And by simply doing this, they create negative pressures sucking in the prey into their mouth. It makes a lot of sense as well when you compare it to other reports from the 1950s of commercial fishermen that opened up the guts of recently killed sperm whales and found its prey completely intact, flopping around inside its guts without any bite marks at all. It is super duper weird. So what on earth do they use their teeth for? apparent to me and a number of other scientists that the reason sperm whales have their teeth is as weapons for sparring amongst one another and in the absolute biggest individuals, the bull sperm whales, they have these horrific scars on the side of their face called rake marks from these teeth. Sperm whales are incredible animals. We're still learning so much about these creatures to this very day. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to go find my own white whale. Yarg, it's your boy Ben here. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and other than that, I'll see you walk the plank on the next episode. <laughs> what? Ciao.